What's next? Well, I think it's inevitable that we reach 100k this year in 2024. And probably a lot higher than just that 100k. 100k, we're, we're very close to that level now. And, and well, if the, the bull market is anything like, like we had seen in history, then uh, we, we will have a steep increase in price uh, from here. 100k this year. Um, note that this, this model line, the stock to flow model line, jumps in April to uh, roughly 500,000, which is the average um, overnight, uh, the, of the average uh, price uh, le level in this halving period. It doesn't mean that the price will jump overnight in May or April to this 500k. It usually takes a couple of months. And, and here too, you see the red dots. It takes a couple of months, almost a year to reach that, that model line. And that's what I think will happen this time around too. So crypto industry analysts have been dubbing the current Bitcoin cycle as the weirdest bull market ever witnessed. And here's why. Historically, bull runs start with money flowing into Bitcoin before moving to other major cryptocurrencies like Ethereum and then filtering down the chain. But this time, funds are going straight from Bitcoin to meme coins skipping the usual process. Adding to the unusual nature of this cycle is the fact that Bitcoin has hit an all-time high before the halving, contrary to previous cycles where the peak occurred afterward. That said, with the halving just a few days away, many investors and analysts have been closely monitoring its movements. One particular analyst, the pseudonymous crypto trading expert Plan B, has provided an extremely bullish outlook as he reveals his detailed analysis and price forecast for Bitcoin in 2024 and 2025. Let us now watch clips of Plan B as he presents his updated forecast of Bitcoin's movement through the charts. While watching, kindly give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications for more similar content. Thanks and enjoy. The next top will not be in this year, 2024, but in next year, 2025. Um, and that top will uh, be, yeah, well, some people talk about 200,000 200, as the next stop. You can see from this chart that that would be very underwhelming. Um, and in fact, from a stock to flow perspective, we need uh, an, a top that's much higher than the average 500k. So let's say six, seven, maybe 100k or a million to reach that average of 500k. So the top will be higher than 500k in 2025 if well that's that's what i think next chart is cycles market cycles and we see the second red dot color here is um the market stage accumulation is blue uh, red is the bull market we're in red right now and this is the second red dot um so yeah from here, I think the red dots will continue like they did last time and in this bull market and the 2013 bull market. It will continue for, well, say a month, uh, a, a year. Could be a little bit less, could be a little bit more, but, but let's say a year. So 12 uh, red dots. And um, it will, there will be volatility too. I mean, that's very important. It, it won't be straight up and no, no, no dips. There will be multiple minus, well, 20 or 30% dips. That's very normal. And um, yeah, the best thing to do is not to panic at those dips. Personally, and this is not financial advice, of course, but personally, I will do nothing uh, for, for the next, let's say 12, 12 months. And I will reassess when the market phase switches from bull market to distribution yellow. And until the yellow, I don't do anything. Next chart. RSI. Let's look at some technical indicators. So RSI is a technical indicator. It, it, uh, it shows you when a stock or a currency, or in this case, Bitcoin is overbought and then the relative strength indicator is high, or when it's oversold in the bear markets. Um, 
when the, the RSI is, is relatively low. And we're at 77 right now. And that's the highest level ever before a halving. And that's very interesting because what we've seen so far is uh, uh, the halvings. That's, that's when blue turns to red. That was here and here and here in 2020. The RSI just before the halving was getting lower from 70 to 65 to 55. And that's in line with diminishing returns. So the fact that we're now at 77, which is the highest level ever, um, could mean that this is a first indication that the diminishing re returns will not be there. And we will stay in an exponential return growth uh, path, uh, which is, of course, what I think, and which will would be in line with the stock to flow model. So very interesting what this month, uh, the halving uh, month, uh, April, will do, and what next month, uh, the first month after the halving, will do. So the switch from blue to red, at that at what RSI level that will be. And and if that's higher than last three halvings, that's that's very interesting. And, and as I said, uh, might be an indicator of uh, not um, having diminishing returns this time. Before we continue with Plan B's in-depth forecast, here's an update from other news sources. Data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro and TradingView indicates that Bitcoin recently dropped 5% in just one hour. Following this price correction, investors are closely monitoring support levels and RSI for potential trend changes. If Plan B's forecast is accurate, this correction can be seen as an opportunity to invest in Bitcoin before its anticipated tremendous growth. Let us now return to Plan B's forecast as he shares more of his expert insights and analyses. Another technical indicator is of course the 200 week moving average um, that's the black line the black line 200 week moving average is 33,000 right now and rising and that 33,000 can be seen as a floor uh, in a bear market it can breach that floor but in a bull market uh, around the halvings that that 200 week moving average is uh, is a real floor and, and and bitcoin price will diverge from that 200 week moving average so it's maybe getting less interesting right now in the bull market and uh but but at least you can tell or i can, uh, when i hear people say that bitcoin will crash to 10,000 20,000 30,000 yeah that's not going to happen I, I i just shake my head and and, and think well no so better to look at on-chain indicators in the bull market i think and one of the most well known is the realized price realized price the black line at the moment is twenty-nine thousand, and it's rising fast and that's always the case in bull markets so in bear markets it's it's it levels out it's it flattens but the realized price uh, is, is, is really rising faster and faster in bull markets. And that's what we see right now, uh, or at least the beginning of that. And that's, that's very, um, yeah, com confirmation of a, of a bull market. I think it's better to look at the two year, uh, realized price. Why? Because, because that does not include the 1 million Satoshi coins, the first 1 million coins that were, um, yeah, that are in the realized price against a price of well zero and that that that's dragging that realized price down so two-year realized price is in my opinion a better indicator and that's at 44 uh 000, uh 000, yeah and i think that's an well converse a conservative floor uh in bull markets see the dark blue line here in a bull market bitcoin price in red never goes below the two-year realized price same here 
the red dots are always above the two year realized price. So um, 44,000 is, is really, I think, the conservative floor. And if we take a little bit more risk, we look at the uh, five month uh, realized price. That's the short term holder uh, price. And it's at 60,000 right now. 60,000 would be the aggressive floor. Because uh, if we look at previous bull markets, then you see that the red dots, the Bitcoin price, don't go below that, that even, even that five months realized price. And here too, in this, you see the little dips, but the floor is the five month uh, realized price. And that's at 60,000 right now. So that's my personal aggressive floor that I think we will not go uh, below again. Next indicator is realized return. Realized return is what sellers make uh, when they sell and the sellers in, in March uh, made more than 60% and that means it's red. More than 60% just like the February sellers and that's a confirmation of a bull market. So selling at 60% or more return, that's really, uh, yeah, bull market territory. I watch this very closely because when that switches to blue or even green, that might be an indication that the bull market is over or that we might be mid bull market. And then we have to look at other indicators to confirm or, uh, or deny that. For now, all looks good. And of course, the same is true if we look at Bitcoin in profit. That's 100% at all time high levels. Everybody's in profit. And that will continue for a couple of months uh, if history is any guide. Considering the historical accuracy of Plan B's predictions, how much weight do you place on his latest forecast for Bitcoin? Feel free to drop your thoughts and analyses in the comments below. If you found today's video enlightening and want to stay ahead with more insights and updates on crypto and global finance, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and turn on post notifications. Your support greatly encourages us to continue providing in-depth content and discussions. Stay tuned for our next episode, where we'll uncover more about the fascinating developments in the cryptocurrency space. Until then, keep questioning, keep exploring, and most importantly, keep investing wisely. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.